Well, hello and welcome. This is Jen from workingathomeschool.com. I'm going to show you just a quick tutorial on how to use your new editable upgrade for the book 365, One Year of Healthy Meal Plans for Busy Families. This upgrade was created so that you can customize these meal plans and shopping lists for your family and make it even easier to eat healthy meals at home. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you this is the download email you will get after you've purchased. Now it will say this email confirms your order of the following items. Mine only says editable upgrade and yours will too if you've previ previously bought the book but you're just adding the upgrade. If you're buying both at once, which is recommended, you'll see your book listed here also. You'll see that the email will come from Send Owl Downloads and then you can download your digital products from this link. So I clicked on this link and it opened this page directly, this file download page. The, both of the editable pages are here. These are both Excel files. Here's editable Excel 365 meal plans and editable Excel 365 shopping lists. Once you see this page, I go ahead and download all and then go on my Mac, it opens here at the bottom. Um, and if you ever can't find these, I always recommend open your, opening your Finder window or in Windows, just search for these files in your computer or checking your downloads. We'll go ahead and start with the meal plan book. And I will show you that I, there's a number three here because I've tested it out several times this morning to make sure it will work for you. Here is the meal plan in an Excel format. Now, this Excel version will not work without the PDF. And what I mean is, if you were to try to purchase this by itself, you need these recipe cards to make this work that are in the PDF version of the book. And you also need the worksheets that help you come up with meal ideas. There's also bonus snack ideas. There's so much in the PDF version that you really need to have. So this may not make sense if you don't have that PDF version. You really need to have that to make this work. And this is really only available to you if you've purchased the PDF. So I'll show you first. I would go ahead and save this as it is. And after I save it, you can see here on the bottom, I get a lot of emails from people saying, Jen, there's only one month included. I don't understand. And I just want to show you, if you go to the bottom here, you'll see the tabs for each month of the year. So uh, and my computer's running slow because I've got the uh, camera running right now. So I'm sorry for that. But you can see all of these months on the bottom of the file that you can click on for each month of the year. These meal plans are undated, which means you can use them for years to come if you want. And if ever a time came where one of these links didn't work, I will be updating it, changing the shopping list, and sending a new version to you so you don't have to worry about that. Since you bought the book, you have lifetime access to any changes that I make. And that makes it even easier, I hope, for you to use this for years to come. These are healthy dinners. Um, all of them do work for the Trim Healthy Mama diet. A lot of them are paleo friendly, so hopefully you get a lot of use out of this meal plan. So now that you've seen these bottom tabs and you've saved it, um, we can go ahead and open the shopping list down here. And what I've done is I recommend saving it as is, but I went ahead and saved a new version. I chose file and save as, and I saved it as Jen's version. I recommend that you do the same here because as you can see, this looks a little bit different than yours will look. I took out the meal for day number four and I put leftovers there instead. You can make changes to your own copy, but I really recommend having an original saved on your computer so that you can refer back to it. Maybe if you use this again next January, you'll want to use the meal plan as written and you won't want your changes anymore. That way you can refer to the original version. Let's go to week two. And let's say we do not want to do on day 11 burgers and salads. So we'll take that out and I'll just type in again another leftover night. I think we have a lot of leftovers even right now in my refrigerator. So I, I might do this at home too. Um, so I would change that to leftovers and then I would go find any number 11 for day 11 and just take that off of the shopping list. 
So there's that one. And I think that's pretty much it was the burger patty. So I've made that change. And let's say my family is out of lemons. And let's say we're out of uh, mushrooms and we just want more mushrooms. Actually, that's a bad example because there are already mushrooms up there, but just as an example. And then let's say we want to add dog food and um, some vitamin water zero. I can add whatever I want to this list and print it and take it to the store. I can shop my pantry first and say, oh wait, I've already got salt and pepper and protein powder and stevia. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear those out. And I can add any staples that my family needs. I could delete this and move those files up because sometimes that bothers me when it looks like that. But you can make whatever changes you need to and print it for your family. Take off ingredients that you already have. Add ingredients that you need. I just really recommend that you save it as a different version so that you know what changes you've made and what goes with the original book. As I showed you on the monthly menu, you can check down here and see that uh, there's January week one, January week two, January week three. Again, they're undated, so it doesn't necessarily mean um, you have to do it the 8th through the 14th. That's just the day of the month. So even if the first fell on a Wednesday, I could, you know, just use it that way. Um, week three, week four, and then a monthly shopping list. And I have a quick note about the monthly shopping list. Excuse me. I already explained this up here, but it's in small print, so I want to make sure you know. I don't always buy produce in bulk. A lot of these items will not last for a month. I don't want you to waste any money, so I'm just gonna show you. I will buy onions, garlic, red onions, sweet potatoes, and that's usually about it that I buy at Costco from this monthly list. The monthly list is usually most useful to me for meat and fish, frozen foods, some dairy that will last, and these pantry ingredients and staples are really what this monthly is, excuse me, monthly list is used for. So you can go from January, go on down through February. It's all here at the bottom. It's really easy to open. So as I said, I really recommend doing your own version and your uh, making changes there and printing from there. Um, the last thing I want to show you and I'm sorry I didn't have this ready, is I'm going to go ahead and open Google Sheets here. And who knows what I have on my Google Sheets? I don't know if I have all kinds of weird stuff on there. I guess we'll see. So go to Google Sheets and I would, oops, okay, I would hit File and Open. Now if you don't have Excel but you do have a Gmail account, this is a great way to open this. It works really well. I prefer this to numbers. So if you have numbers, I've gotten mixed feedback that it works well on numbers. Some people say it doesn't work at all. So if you don't have Excel, I really recommend getting the uh, using Google Sheets with your Gmail account. This is just the same as what I showed you before. Sometimes a few odd things can happen like this header is taking up a whole lot of room here. Uh, but you can see here's the different months along the bottom, the tabs for each month. You can make changes as needed and do the same with the shopping list. A word of caution if you're using Google Sheets, I put a note about this at the beginning of the recording. I would save um, your regular copy on your computer and edit a different copy. Create a copy um, especially when you're using Google Sheets because as you make changes, you don't even need to hit save in Google Sheets. It will save it for you. And the problem with that is, of course, that if you don't have the original copy saved, you're stuck with whatever changes you've made, even if you've made some on accident. So that's it in a nutshell. I hope that helps you navigate this editable version, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Have a great day.